Hey my lovelies, thank you so much for joining me today. So I wanted to basically do a first impressions on another foundation. You guys have probably seen me do a first impressions on another foundation. It was the YLS Beauty Triple Serum Foundation, I think that's what it was. If not, it's on my Instagram somewhere. Just scroll down. Um, but today, I'll be trying out the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops Blurring Skin Tint. Um, this is the new foundation by Fenty Beauty and I've heard a lot of great things about it. One of my really good friends, she tried it out on her YouTube channel. Go check that out. It's Beauty by Fatima. And um, yeah, I just want to share with you guys what I think of it and my first impressions on this foundation. So if you guys want to see that, then please keep on watching. So this is what the box looks like when you first get it. Granted, I did open it already, but I got the shade 18. If you guys don't know your shade, but you guys have other foundations from her or other foundations, any foundation, um, I think from Sephora, you can actually color match yourself online instead of going into the store because we all know sometimes we don't get color matched correctly so if you guys have the perfect foundation you guys can color match yourself on sephora.com so i think you could do it in stores too I, they have like their ipads right next to like the huge mirrors where you guys try out makeup or where the employees try on makeup on you um and you can just find your sheet that way as well so I just want to open the box. I actually did open the box. I got this like over a month ago and never gotten around to actually trying it out. So that's what I will be doing today. And this is what the bottle looks like. I love the look of it. And then you just screw it off. And this is what it looks like. I did swatch it already. I did everything already because I'm so impatient when it comes to new makeup. But I just didn't test it out on my face yet so that's what i'll be doing today and i just want to read the box for you guys it's a light to medium coverage it's for all skin tones it blends and blurs to instant perfection and it's light as air that's basically what it has on the box and it has the ingredients as well this foundation is a vegan it is also hold on let me pull it up it also has a light coverage natural finish it's a liquid formula and it is long wearing so i'm pretty i'm holding it backwards but i'm pretty excited about that and you guys get a little over one fluid ounce inside of this bottle which is amazing granted that a lot of foundations the standard size is a one fluid ounce so love that um and yeah let's start this first impression so before i start putting my foundation on any foundation that i have on i apply both primer and color corrector being of a darker skin tone i naturally get darker hyperpigmentation on my face so i color correct with a orange concealer and also i do prime my face because i believe in priming before you put your foundation on I just like to take that additional step just to perfect my base. So let me get those two things out. So for my color corrector, I will be using this Dragon Beauty, what is this called? Dragon Fire Skin Perfecting Potion. And I think this shade is just orange. And I will be using the primer from Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Major Hangover RX Replenishing face primer and this is like the huge version i think i picked this up at tj maxx honestly you guys go to tj maxx if you guys want to get prestige makeup or high-end makeup for the low i think i pay like half the price this normally would be so i'm just going to apply this on half of my face because i want to see how it wears um when with primer and without primer so i think my left hand side will be with this primer i recommend this primer if you guys have very dry skin i don't have dry skin but i love like the added glow so yeah i'm just going to apply this mainly focusing it on my t-zone okay and now I'm just going to color correct everywhere on my face because this is a necessary step for me. 
And then I just blend it out with a um, beauty blender. This is from Sparkling Rose Cosmetics. This is their makeup sponge. So I'm just going to do that. And this honestly just helps to counteract any darkness you may have on your face. I definitely recommend the Dragon Beauty one. And I know that e.l.f. Cosmetics, they have a dupe for this, but it's just in cream um, form instead of liquid. Uh, I do prefer this a little bit more because I can literally like put this down on my face and like go grab a brush or something and it won't like set. Whereas the cream formula from the stick corrector, color corrector from e.l.f. does set and if you have dry skin, it will not move. So that's why I prefer this one a little bit more. And honestly, it blends out like a dream. And I blend it out all the way because I don't want it to affect the color of my foundation. So I just make sure I like thoroughly blend it out. So now that that's done, we will start with the application process now. Um, I picked up two brushes. These are from Equal Tools. If you guys saw my big, huge makeup haul on YouTube, you guys probably saw these. Um, I don't know which one I will use. I think I will use the bigger one because it's for the face, you know. But I think I will be reaching for the smaller one when it comes to like parts like around here and stuff like that. And I will also be just blending everything out and just making sure there's no streak lines with a beauty blender or a makeup sponge. So first things first, I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I'm going to just put about that much on the back of my hand. And it is a very liquidy foundation. So to make sure that it provides the most coverage, um, I will start blending it out with a brush first. So I'm just going to just go in and just... Okay, now that I'm done with the brush, I'm just gonna go in with my makeup sponge just to make sure there's no streak marks. Okay, now that I'm finished with the makeup application, let me just observe it. Okay, it does provide a very light coverage because, I say this because I have a beauty mark right over here and I have like acne marks um, from my acne teen years and i do see it peeking through outside of the foundation um and also like on my forehead too you can see some imperfections but it it does what it claims to do it does blur your skin it does blur your face and i think this color match is perfect for me i think this is my shade i literally feel like i have nothing on light as air that's what it claimed to do and that is exactly what it is um i really don't feel it on the skin i literally feel like i'm just like i have no makeup on or foundation on um another thing is i want to test is if that it is actually buildable and if it can be a medium coverage because if so then i'll be incredibly like impressed by this foundation i just love it it really does feel like i have nothing on right now um and it this foundation is really good for if you guys are out running errands but let me not just talk about it too much for right now let me just go in and put a second layer on my skin and then i will tell you like my full thoughts on the foundation Okay, now that, that, now that I did that, I think that this foundation is buildable. I do see less of my imperfections showing. 
i.e. the acne marks that I had from my teen years. Um, I do see that my beauty mark is covered up a bit more. I have a beauty mark over there, but I think that was covered by foundation, so that really doesn't count. Um, and I really do think it does a really good job in just perfecting your skin and making it look like you have nothing on. Um, it's very natural like it claims and it is buildable. I absolutely love that it comes in so many shade ranges. Um, I feel like I have nothing on. I don't know if I said that, but and honestly, I could see myself basically reaching for this foundation more because it's so wearable and I can literally just like just blend it out one, two, three and just leave um my house to like run errands or like you know just to run around oh also i don't know if i mentioned this i don't think i did i literally noticed no difference from the primer side and the no primer side they just both performed the same but yeah guys i think if i were to rate this out of 10 i would definitely rate this a 10 out of 10 i absolutely love this foundation so far i know i have to like test it out a little bit more and maybe i can make a favorites video or an update video to basically update you guys on this product um but so far i absolutely love it and it just provides such a nice sheen on your face it really does make your skin look so healthy and like you have nothing on thank you guys so much for watching this first impressions today i hope you guys really like it you guys can comment down below any products or foundations you guys want me to try out and I will make sure I do that for you guys. If you guys try this foundation, feel free to leave a comment about how you feel about it down below as well. I want to hear your feedback if you guys had the same experience as me, if you guys didn't. I just want to hear from you guys. And yeah, thank you so much again for sitting down and taking time out of your day to watch my first impressions and I hope to be making more for you guys soon.